In the past videos, I've been talking a lot about what it is like to have your own online business and why I encourage all of you to have your own online business in 2024. As a matter of fact, we are running a free five day challenge where I teach you how to start your own online business in just 30 days. So if you want to join us for this free challenge, make sure you check out the link in the description of this video. That way you can join us there. Travel and business are two passions of mine. So it's no surprise that I really push other people to have their own businesses as well. Not only because it can fund, but it can also sustain their lifestyle abroad. So not just for the move itself, but also for the life that they have there. I know that for a lot of people, money is the part that is keeping them stuck before they can actually make that move abroad. So some of the alternatives that they look at are either early retirement or even looking for a remote job. In our case, we are using our online businesses to fund the move as well as to sustain our lifestyle abroad. When I tell you that, it might sound a little glamorous, like, you know, everybody wants to have their own business, everybody wants to be their own boss and all of that. And there's this glamorous side of, you know, being your own boss. But in this video, I wanted to not burst your bubble, but really show you the reality of what it's like to have your own business. Yes, we're all familiar with the pros, the advantages and all of that. And I wanna talk about those in this video, but I also wanted to make sure that you're aware of the things that they might not tell you about running your own online business. So I want to start by addressing some of the inconveniences of having your own online business. First of all, if you thought that you were overworked at your nine to five and you thought that having your own online business would allow you to work less, you are highly mistaken because you are actually going to work a lot more in your business than you did at your nine to five and not necessarily for the same reward. Let me explain. At your nine to five, you're working nine to five technically, right? And whether you're slacking for two or three hours within the nine to five, you're still getting paid the same amount of money at the end of the month, right? But in your own online business and mostly at the beginning, because you have to set up systems and everything is not automated yet, you are putting in a lot of hours and sometimes you're not even getting paid for those hours. So you're not even getting clients for the work that you're putting in because maybe you're setting up your funnels, maybe you're creating content on YouTube or on Instagram, all of these things that require a lot of work and a lot of effort and a lot of time, but might not get you paid right away. Okay. So that's the first thing that you have to take into consideration. The second thing that you have to take into consideration is that another reason why a lot of people want to leave their nine to five is because they want a little more independence. They want to be their own boss, like I said, and they want to make their own decisions. They don't want anybody to tell them what to do. I left my nine to five about seven years ago. And let me tell you something. Sometimes I wish I had somebody who would tell me what to do just because when you have your online business, it's all on you. You make the decisions. You have to find the motivation. You have to be accountable. You do everything. Okay. It's not somebody who's giving you direction. You find the direction. You get to make the big decisions. You get to make the small decisions. And at the beginning, it's really all on you. As you grow your business, you can delegate certain things. You can outsource certain things. You can hire a coach, but at the beginning it's all on you. And that can put a big mental toll on you if you're not prepared for it. So you have to be aware of this. If you're not somebody who can work independently, then this might be a little challenging for you. Last but surely not least, one of the major disadvantages of having your own online business is in terms of consistency in your revenue. So yes, you don't really have a cap on how much money you can make, but chances are you're not going to make the same amount of money every single month. Sometimes you make more, sometimes you make less. So if you're somebody who's really looking for consistency in your money coming in, or if you don't really know how to manage your money well, then this might be a little problematic for you because some months you might not even make any money at all mostly at the beginnings, right? But even if something happens and even depending on the type of business that you have and something big happens like a pandemic or even something simple as a change of season, like the end of the summer, then your revenue can be affected. There's obviously a few things you can do to help stabilize your income, but these is not always guaranteed. So you have to be aware and prepared for the fact that your revenue might not always be coming in in the same amount every single month. So now that I've shared the bad news with you, I want to go back and remind you of the good news about owning your own business in spite of the challenges. And sometimes this is what makes entrepreneurship so exciting because no two days look the same. And sometimes it feels like you're hunting for things and it's really an exciting journey. Sure. There are highs and there are lows, 
but overall it is an exciting journey because it's something that you've decided on your own and something that you're doing based on the things that you're good at that you're passionate about and that people are willing to pay you for so let's look at some of the advantages of having your own online business obviously location and independence that's at the top of the list you can work from anywhere you can bring your laptop as long as you have an internet connection you are good to go so even if your revenue can go up and down through the year the thing is that there's no cap there's no cap on how much money you can make at your nine to five you have a set salary and you're not going to go over it but in your online business you have seasons where you can have more than expected revenue where you can have more clients where you can increase your prices even have less clients and increase your prices because you feel like it and you can make more money so there's really no cap on how much money you can make one of the best things for me as an introvert is that you can work with who you want you get to decide who you want to work with the clients that you want to take in and you get to say no to the people that you don't really align with and that's totally fine you get to work when you want to you set your own hours again that doesn't mean that you're slacking that you're not working at all it just means that you get to determine the best time of the day when you actually enjoy doing the work so it might not mean nine to five you might mean five to nine and then taking a break for the day and then 12 to three and then taking a break and then maybe 10 to midnight it's really up to you and you also get to work how you want you get to decide on your business model some people like to have one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions where they work directly with one client at a time. Other people like to do live events like retreats. I've done my own retreat to Morocco and that's something that I absolutely enjoyed doing. Other people like to do group calls so they like to work with a lot of people at the same time and maybe just meeting once a week on Zoom. You get to decide on the format that you want for your business. So you get to have that freedom of decision on the things that you want to do and how you want to do them. And I know this is a major motivator for people who want to start their online business. But I think one of the most important part of starting your own online business is actually not about the money that you can make. It's not about the number of clients that you get. It's really about the impact that you can make with your business. We all know that when we work at our nine to five, again, depending on the kind of job that you have, but you also have a cap on how you can impact the people out there. Maybe because you're in a certain industry or maybe because of the job description that you have and you cannot really go beyond the boundaries of that job description. But when you have your own online business, the ripple effect of one thing that you do, how you can help one single person and how that person can help other people and how that impacts their lifestyle and their family and generations after that. You really get to see with your own two eyes the impact of the work that you put out there. Even if it's just like a YouTube video that you do and that you share for free, you get to see the impact that that has on your viewers because they give you feedback, they share comments, they send you emails, and all of that but at your nine to five you might not always see the impact of your individual action at the office on the end consumer okay so that is really important if you're like me and you're really focusing on the impact more than the money piece of the business then i would definitely encourage you to get started with your business in 2024 this is a new year this is a great time for you to get started and like i said earlier if you don't know how to get started i invite you to join us for the free five-day challenge where i show you the step-by-step -step of how to launch your own online business in just 30 days the link is in the description all you have to do is click on the link fill out your name and your email and you'll be entered into a private Facebook group where I will come live every day for five days to share valuable training and to guide you through that process. In case you haven't seen the other videos in this business series, I encourage you to check them out right here. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a like, share it with a friend and as always, subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss any of my other videos just like this and about our Move Abroad journey. Until next time, bye.